Hello, welcome or welcome back, whichever it is. Uh, I appreciate you guys coming by regardless. Um, my name is Andy from Cam Reacts, Cam standing for Korean American. And just a real quick background before I get started. It's uh, my uh, my background is in K-pop wise. It's uh, I've been a big follower of K-pop from the 1980s, early, uh, excuse me, late 80s to the early 2010s. And then I kind of stopped listening. It is all of a sudden the early 2020s. And so I've been outdated for about 10, five to 10 years, basically. And I just want to get back into it. I want to learn. I want to watch. I want to discover new music, discover new people. And uh, yeah, so here I am. And this time around, I'm back to Stray Kids because I've been really enjoying Stray Kids. I'm trying to get through their title tracks a lot of, or, or not title tracks necessarily. I'm trying to get through their um, music videos. And then I'll get into their B tracks and such. We might mix it up at this point, but yeah, I'm just really enjoying Street Kids. So let's get going. <clears throat> Things I heard this was their pre debut, which means they look so young. Some things don't change though, like Changbin. They look really young. It's been five years or four and a half years. Weird, like the person that I recognize the least in older videos is Hyunjin. Look at this baby face. That blew him up into what he is now. Hmm. Was that Hyunjin singing? That was quite the high note. You can tell it's very early. Um, their sound isn't so refined in this song as some of their laser later tracks. <clears throat> Even the auto balancing isn't as good as um, I Felix. Don't mean to talk over you. Is that Nino?
Oh, there's a few seconds left. It's an interesting view. Okay, never mind. It's over. Um, I was before before I had to say hi to Felix. Um, what I was saying was the songs, uh, the production on the song is definitely not as refined um, as some of their newer songs and even like i was saying the what i was trying to get at was the audio balancing of um background music and the that little high tone there uh versus the voices and the other and the beat and everything um i think the the high tone the high instrumentation whatever it was um that's kind of driving the the, the melody of the background music is was a little overpowering um I definitely appreciate the song, but I, uh, I I have to be honest, I don't like it as much as their newer stuff, and I think that's probably given, because they've learned a lot, right, in the last five, four years, basically. <clears throat> uh, I made a comment on my first uh, video where I watched, um, oh, it was just District 9, I think. No? Did I even watch District 9? Miro? There was a song with Ujin in it. I did watch both. Well, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't remember which song I felt this way from. Uh, but there's a song where Ujin was singing and I felt like his voice was very out of place. Um, this song, I didn't feel that as much. Um, but there was another song that I felt like his voice was a little, um, not much of, not really a good fit for the, the song. But this one he felt, he sounded just fine. Uh, Rino sounded good rapping here actually. Uh, Hyunjin sounds good of course, and Changbin, you know, my, my bias of course, yeah, along with Hyunjin, my other bias. Uh, they sound not Hyunjin. <laughs> I lied. Han is my other bias with Changbin. Hyunjin, he's got such a baby face. And then to see him now, I think he looks really good with his hair long. I just want to see. Does KCON will they block the hell out of me too? Yeah. <laughs> I really enjoy Changbin's rap style and tone. I've noticed there's only seven members here. <clears throat> I'm guessing this is after Ubin has left, and I'm guessing Hyunjin is on the hiatus. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Han sounds good when you get so high up there. Ryan's got a really nice high voice too, by the way. In Panchan, of course. It's so unfair. Why? How the hell is Han so talented? It's even more unfair, Changbin, that you could rap and sing too. You know, just when you get comfortable with uh, the fact that Pang Chan mainly sings and then here he is rapping. And then when I was just getting comfortable with Changbin singing only and I hear him sing, rapping only and then sing, 
And then, you know, I'm so used to Han being a rapper as well. And then he just goes and knocks these high notes in perfect tone and key. Oh, that so unfair. Like I could barely sing and I can't really rap, right? Just, just sprinkle some of that talent onto me, right? And I would have been, um, maybe I would go karaoke a little more. Was that a completely backtrack there? You know it sounds good rapping too. Who sees? I like I think they fixed some of the balancing, or maybe it's just because the the, the the mics are louder than the song, and it sounds better to me now than the music video. How dare you go from that serious face to smileys. <laughs> He's goofballs. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, this makes me like him that much more. Um, wow. Very interesting. I almost didn't like elevator when I listened to the music video and then when I saw this performance I almost did 180 and just uh, said absolutely this is another great song from Stray Kids <laughs> um, I believe I I'm guessing this was performed in 2021 yeah so this was 2020 really they were able to have that many that big of a group Crowd in 2021. Cool. Um, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, so I, maybe it's because they're more mature now. Like you know, they've grown more since then. What is wrong with my hair? It's just it's just dying, and it's too long. I need to get a haircut. I think. Um, anyways, um, yeah, it's just. It's really interesting. I almost didn't like the song at all at Hello when I first heard the song. And then when I heard this live version, like, wow, I like it actually. Maybe it's because it's the second listen. But I the, the things that bothered me from the first listen was almost non existent on the second on the second time on the live performance. So I think they must have done some balancing and also they've upped the microphones uh, so that you could hear them better. And uh I think that's what I needed was just higher microphones and less instrumentals in the song. Do they have a dance practice for Elevator? Yeah. 
Ouch. I feel like the knees would hurt. There's so many small details that I'm noticing now in the in the dance practice compared to to the other videos I just watched. Careful and dodge these arms. It's actually really difficult looking choreography. There's a lot of quick to short to slow to power to pops to sudden movements. It's a lot of a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> that's pretty that's a good little bit there. definitely like the live version more for some reason. This this live version from KCON, whatever it is. Where is it? It's disappeared. Oh, there it is. No? It's a different performance. Um, it's Miro. So anyways, uh, anyways, just to wrap up my thoughts on Elevator. Um, not their best song, or not my favorite song, I should say, rather. Um, but I think the KCON live performance I watched redeemed it a lot more than I originally anticipated. Um, it was uh, unfortunate to not see Hyunjin in that live performance, but um, I can't remember who covered his part. Uh but they sounded fine doing it. Um, it. It was good to see. It was interesting to see Changbin cover 
some of the high notes, probably from Ujin's uh, departure and uh, some of those parts. Chanbin was able to sing the high notes. Very interesting because it's, I'm used to also sheep show, you know, the, <laughs> that version of Chanbin uh, is the, is what I'm so used to. <clears throat> so elevator out of 10 receives a, believe it or not, I was going to give it a three, uh, the first listen I had. And then the second listen with the KCOM performance, it, it's shot up to a seven. Um, I think it's a solid song actually. And I think it just sounds so much better live and with, uh, with, um, uh and it, it it's uh so much more I, I could appreciate it more because i could see han actually doing the high notes and i could see chang being doing the high notes my two my two favorite members my favorite bias members in the group whatever i'm saying um and the dancing is very complicated much more than the, than, than the music video led on actually um you know just again reaffirms even from day one or even pre-debut, right? Um, they were a talented group of nine, now eight. Um, and it is very evident um, that they are just, it's so unfair. <laughs> I'm gonna say unfair a few more times to Han and Changbin, they could, that they could sing and rap in that way. Um, of course I could imitate it won't sound anything that's good and a lot of people a lot of singers could rap but they don't sound like they don't sound like Han they don't sound like Chang Bin when they rap um you know what I mean so uh anyways with that said <clears throat> 7 out of 10 my overall score thanks to the KCON performance thanks to watching Han and uh Chang Bin hit those notes and uh, uh and I'm not trying to uh knock down the other members. You know's rap was actually really nice too in this song. Hyunjin had a good rap part, but he wasn't able to perform it in KCON. Uh, Felix's part was a little... His part was, I wish they gave Felix a little more in the middle somewhere. Likely, uh, his voice is such a contrast to everyone else that they gave him his own little, you know, few bars on the bottom at the end there. But I wish he could have uh, been integrated more in the song in the middle, too. Um, just a small hope. Uh, Felix is kind of... Um, his presence in the songs, his parts in the so in so far, the songs I've listened to are very sparse. Um, I would like to hear him more. But there's eight members. There's a lot of people. Um, so it's hard to... I, I understand the, the difficulty of getting everyone, you know, a good amount of parts in this in a three minute, four minute song. All right. With that said, I'm wrapped up. If you made it this far, thank you. Hearts to you guys. Um, I really appreciate you guys um, showing support for the Stray Kids reactions that I'm doing. I'm really enjoying listening to Stray Kids. I will likely be doing another guide for them soon um the one that was people that was more recommended than the last one i did i've just been pushing it off because i want to listen to more music than i do guides right now um but i will get to that eventually and i'll start looking at some of their b tracks um pretty soon here as well and of course for those that are not aware the b tracks they're formatted formatted a little differently than the ones i do with the main title tracks uh, that have music videos typically um I'm understanding that there's a lot of music videos that have uh, there's a lot of beat tracks that have music videos from Stray Kids um, but the ones that don't they usually get one listen uh, I'll give them two if I want if I feel like it needs to I need to give it a second listen um, and the videos won't be restricted to one song it may end up being one song but it's not restricted to it is what I'm saying so again with that said Really appreciate you guys making it out here. If you leave, if you have more things you want me to know about Elevator or, you know, anything like that with Stray Kids, let me know in the comments section. That helps greatly. It's very informative. 
please like the video. It helps the YouTube algorithms um, uh, put favor on my video, basically. <clears throat> and subscribe if you can. It really helps me understand that you guys enjoy the content and are looking to see more. And also helps me keep uh, keeps me motivated to go and make more videos. It really, really do, does. It helps me understand you guys are interested and I am more than happy to oblige. With that said, thank you again. Have a great day. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. Bye.